Welcome back to our course on Access 2013. In this section we're going to take a look at the status bar which is right down at the bottom of the Access 2013 workspace. Now like many other aspects of Access 2013 the status bar can be customized but let's take a look at what's shown on it at the moment. Now the contact list form is still open and if you look at the status bar down at the bottom it says data sheet view on the left and on the right there are three buttons and these buttons enable us to switch between the views of that particular form. If I go to the ribbon and click on the views button let me change to form view. I'm going to click now on form view to make that into a regular form view and what you'll see no visible difference there but it now says a form view on the status bar. Let's try a different view let's try layout view. There was a small change you may have noticed there but note it says layout view and then finally design view it says design view down there. Now a different way of switching between those is to use the buttons in the bottom right. So first of all this will normally tell you which view you've got applied and then it will provide some buttons on the right to switch. Now let me right click on the status bar and what you can see there is a customized status bar menu. Now the very last thing on that menu is view shortcuts and if I uncheck that option look at the buttons at the right hand end of the status bar they're no longer visible doesn't mean I can't do those things it just means those buttons are not visible if I check it again the buttons become visible again and the basic principle of the status bar is really quite straightforward you have certain things you can show and basically you check or uncheck them to determine whether they're shown or not let me give you another example. At the moment filtered is not shown and if I click it to show it it's checked but you didn't see anything different on the status bar. Let me uncheck it again nothing changes. But let me now go back to the home tab and let me go back into form view for this form toggle filter is now available as an option it's enabled so if I click on toggle filter look at the status bar it's still empty go back into customizing and now check on filtered and you'll see the word filtered appeared now how that works is this if I have filtered unchecked then whether the data are filtered or not will not be shown on the status bar but if I have it checked as it is now as I toggle up here on the ribbon look at the status bar toggle off not filtered toggle on it's filtered so what these options on the status bar do is to decide whether you show things or not they don't generally change things they just determine whether the values of certain things are shown or not so that's the status bar in Access 2013 and that's it for this section. Hi everyone, Simon here from Simon Says It. Thanks for watching this video. If you're looking to increase your Access 2013 training skills, check out our 19 hour training bundle. It's 19 hours of Access 2013 training including beginner and advanced training. Just check out the about section below this video for more details. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to subscribe. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, new videos are uploaded to the Simon Says It channel here on YouTube. Just click on the subscribe button right over there. I'll see you next week with additional videos.